I've been playing Ready or Not for a while now. It's a neat shooter, with a lot of different guns to choose from. In celebration of passing 1,000 subscribers, I decided I wanted to clone a gun from Ready or Not. There's just one problem. Ready or Not uses many weapons that you would see real law enforcement personnel use. While this makes for a very realistic game, these guns are not unique by any means. Many of you have probably seen or perhaps even own some of these guns. However, one gun stands out in Ready or Not. On its own, the G36 is a fairly recognizable weapon. Everyone knows it as the German military service rifle, and most people have seen it in movies, video games, or some other kind of media. But in Ready or Not, the G36 is different, sporting a BNT handguard and Knight's Armament sights. It looks like almost an entirely different firearm. Once I saw it, I knew I had to have it. The G36 was designed by H&K as a replacement for the heavier G3 rifle. At a time when battle rifles were being replaced by lighter assault rifles chambered in 5.56, the Bundeswehr decided they required a unique rifle, rather than popular options such as the AR-15. Thus, the German military adopted the G36 in 1997. This space-age rifle has a polymer receiver and furniture, making it very light. Earlier models also included built-in optics, which over the time was very advanced. Since its adoption by Germany, other militaries have adopted the rifle, such as Spain. And of course, many law enforcement agencies around the world have added the G36 to their arsenals, most notably the British counter-terrorist specialist firearm officers. Even my local SWAT team equivalent has been spotted using the G36. When it comes to law enforcement use, the G36 is surprisingly popular. But why is that? The G36 is made almost entirely of polymer. It is a very light rifle that fires the 5.56 round. Coupled with a folding stock, the G36 suits the needs of law enforcement neatly, particularly the compact variant. Having a small light rifle is ideal for the CQB environments law enforcement operates in, and also makes it easier to haul around when patrolling in urban environments. It's no wonder that this gun was included in Ready or Not. But interestingly, the version of the G36 they included isn't exactly what most police forces use. The BNT quad rail isn't too special. It lets a user install more attachments on the gun, facilitating flashlights, foregrips, and even grenade launchers. But the CAC sights are truly something else. A modification that removes the iconic G36 carry handle in favor of a smaller rail section and flip-up sights. It makes the G36 look like something else entirely. The advantages of these sights are somewhat unclear. While they do make the charging handle easier to access, it does so at the cost of eliminating a large portion of the rail space on the G36. Additionally, their looks are somewhat polarizing. Some people think it's the coolest thing ever, while others think it's an affront to God. I personally love the look of them. So, I went looking for them. The quad rail wasn't too difficult to find, but the sights are another story. The real ones have been discontinued, and are notoriously hard to find. Fairly rare set of sights here. You have the Knight's Armament G36 sights. Haven't been made for years, fairly uncommon, especially the front sight. Even Larry Vickers himself had to find someone to provide the sights for him. But after a few visits to several dubious websites, I had found an airsoft replica of the Knight's Armament sights. A few clicks and entering personal and credit card information into shady websites later, the deed was done. 
And all that was left was to wait. And wait. And wait. After waiting more than a month, the parts arrived. And with some fitting, the build was finished. It's very close to the Ready or Not version. In fact, the only real difference other than suppressor and foregrip choice is where the flashlight is mounted. In game, the light is mounted on the right side of the gun. Without any aftermarket switch, this would make using this light rather awkward for a right-handed person. I've instead mounted the light on the left side of the gun making it easy to turn on with my left hand. All in all, I think this is a pretty neat build. Accessing the charging handle is very easy now, and it's nice to have the sights that flip away. And best of all, it just looks cool. But of course, this isn't just a wall hanger. I've run this G36 in its stock configuration for a while, and I'll be putting this setup through its paces as well. I don't collect guns. I built them to use. <laughs> 